I thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. My name is Cassandra Johnson Terrell. I live in the Battlefield District. I have been a resident of Spotsylvania County my entire life, except attending college out of state. I worked in the county for 23 years in this very building. This evening, I stand before you as a resident, more importantly, as one of the seven women that desegregated Spotsylvania County school system in 1963. It was a warm summer day, Thursday, August 29th. Four nine-year-old young girls, Sharon Taylor McLone, Moselle Taylor, Karen Williams Woodard, and Cassandra Johnson Terrell, me, all cousins, all friends, all headed to the fourth grade at R.E. Lee Elementary School, along with the three young high school ladies, Charlene Pendleton Chu, Rita Pendleton, and Elizabeth Taylor Young. Rita would experience her first year of high school. All seven, all girls on this new journey. In the same month, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King delivered his I Have a Dream speech in Washington, D.C. The speech of hope, civility, and equality. As adults now, the seven of us believe that his speech probably energized and possibly provided some additional support that our parents and caretakers most assuredly needed to validate this momentous move that they were undertaking with their children. Needless to say, it, is not, it was not a decision that was made easy or lightly or on a whim. We had been more than adequately prepared with our education at the then all-black John J. Wright Consolidated School, where we had been academically challenged, supported, and spiritually prepared. Faith for the black community has always been a crucial component to our well-being and success. Our educators taught us how valuable we were and that we could and would succeed. There were preparation meetings held earlier that spring and summer with our parents, churches, community leaders, and the NAACP. State applications had to be completed and submitted for each student to the Virginia Board of Education for approval to change schools. Our parents were people who did not want to leave things as they were. As Rita Pendleton often says, failure was not an option. A famous Dr. King quote says, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. Equal education opportunities for all children mattered, and they still do today. After 1963, more black students would enter Spotsylvania County schools. However, total integration would not come to fruition until 1968. My last Dr. King quote, the time is always right to do what is right. So I say to Dr. Frazier and all the Board of Supervisors and all the citizens of Spotsylvania County, we support this proclamation of Black History Month wholeheartedly and recognize the deeply rich and profound contributions that the black citizens of this county have made, contributions we are making and contributions we will make in the future. We all share this rich history together. When we have a seat at the table, we have an opportunity to share ideas, accomplish tasks together, and see each other's perspective. Our diversity and culture enrich us all. Let this be our moment together. Thank you for the continued work all of you do for all the citizens of Spotsylvania County. Thank you. Well, anyway, just uh, I come for you today to express my concern, yet I'm optimistic about the future of Spotsylvania County because of what I believe is its sincere effort over the past year towards attempting to move toward a more diverse and inclusive county. However, in order to obtain inclusion and diversity, it has become more than just words or a desire to attain certain objectives. Inclusion and diversity requires bold actions. It requires sacrifice. It requires innovation and the willingness to do whatever it takes to make the change. Although it took 300 years for Spotsylvania County to have its first African American sit on its governing body, the Board of Supervisors, it appears that the current trend 
of accepting along with the constant influx of people with a wide variety of views and openness, I'm optimistic about the coming years, as well as the outlook about the possibi possibility of the governing body representing more a diverse county that we are. Although it may seem strange at this time, but our, but our sheriff, Roger Harris, is leading the way with his constant effort to make his department an inclusive and community-focused sheriff department, as well as providing security and safety to our county. He put forth the effort to reach out and lend and listen to, concern, to the concerns of the community. This type of openness gives us hope and optimism about the future of Spotsylvania County. Sheriff Harris is not the only official that has made an effort to reach out in the past year. A couple of members of the Board of Supervisors has reached out and meet with members of the community on a regular basis to solicit their input. I'm optimistic about Spotsylvania County. So with Ms. Frazier on the board, the first African-American, the young folks that we met with in a recent meeting, a meeting agenda, and of coming of age of elections, they're able to vote, in other words. That gives us the possibility of change, a possibility to recognize that inclusion and diversity is important. So as like-minded people move into the area, as people grow up and other people that's in the area look at themselves and evaluate themselves and find out that, that diversity is the way to go, I think Spotsylvania County got a bright future. So I say God bless Spotsylvania County and the United States of America. Thank you so much.